Racial double standards are a no-no. A demographic shift is occurring in certain parts of the country where non-Hispanic whites are now the minority race. As a consequence, more of them have to answer to minority bosses. What would this mean for workplace norms? Black people have long gotten away with calling white people offensive names like crackers and honkies, but what will happen when whites are the minority and racial double standards are no longer tolerated? Well, it turns out that what's sauce for the goose is also sauce for the gander. A Maryland jury awarded a white male teacher $350,000 in damages for being discriminated against by his former principal, a black woman who allegedly called him poor white trash and some other unmentionable names. The principal reportedly told students at the school that the only reason a white teacher teaches in Prince George's County is that they can't get a job elsewhere. There are several lessons to take away. The foremost is that civil rights laws apply to everybody regardless of one's race. As more and more minorities rise into positions of power, they cannot disrespect subordinates or use racial slurs against people of other races and ethnicities. If they do so, as some of our members of Congress have done, most recently Charlie Rangel, they can expect to be hauled into court like anyone else.